Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do your first C language program using Visual Studio 2022 IDE. First step is to download the Visual Studio. Here's the, the, the link, I did a search on it. Please don't get confused with the Visual Studio code down here. That's a different type of IDE. Alright, so once you go to click here, go to the Visual Studio website. So that download Visual Studio. That's gonna download the installer. Now I already have to install it installed and I also already have the Visual Studio installed. So I'm gonna skip a couple of steps. However, I am gonna try to walk you through it. Now let me go ahead. For those who already have the, ins the installer installed, you just type in your search box here, Visual studio 2022 comes up here i'm sorry that one. this one the installer all right be sure now you guys who are first um, installing this you will also see this be sure you select available and get the uh, the visual studio community 2022 not not the preview no 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 preview the installer now i already i'm sorry the the 2022 like uh, when I go back to install it, as you guys can see, I already have it here. All right, go to modify. And for those who are installing this for the first time, you will also see this option here. Be sure you go out when to workload. Uh, you can do it. I prefer using workload, but as you guys can see, it's the language packs and some location, but. Workload will really hear them. Anyway, um, for this particular uh, video, we will need desktop development with C++, Windows application development for C++. Uh, C++. All right. Now, if you want to, for those who are doing, let me make it larger here, Massimo. For those who are doing uh, computer science or other programming stuff in college, I will recommend also engineering. I will recommend to do to select these three up here, then these, all of these down here, because you will end up using them in one time or another. And also this right here, okay? You can pause the video so you guys can see which one I have selected. Of course, uh, the more you select, the longer it will take to download and install, and of course, memory is gonna take more, more space, okay? Let me close this. I don't need any more. Uh, if there's an update going on here, an option for update, go into your update. Right? Okay. Now once you're done, you can either say, click launch here, or you can do a search here of Visual uh, Studio 2022. I have right here. Both places will still open up Visual Studio 2022. Go ahead and click create a new project. Here, some of you guys may have look uh, looks like this, all languages. Go ahead and select, click here and select C++. Like I mentioned before, C++ is a modified version of C language. So we'll go, uh, we'll do this under the C++. Then we're gonna do empty project, so that here, you might need to scroll up or down to find this empty project option. So we select that, click next. The name, whatever name you guys want, you can put, I'm just gonna put default name project one. Be sure you put it, uh, we wanna save it and the place that you guys prefer is recommended to save it. Anything you guys do programming, it's best to save it in the hard drive. Uh, it runs better like that, okay? All right. Um, about the place solution and project in the same directory, I prefer like that. Um, that's up to you. I recommend it like this, but maybe if you, um, some prefers might say otherwise, and some company might say otherwise, but I'm just gonna do it like this. Now, the way I'm, showing you guys is mostly how 
professors and colleges prefer. And it's not a bad idea either. Okay? All right. So, location, the name. Check this. Create. Okay. Now, you might see the view a little bit different. You might have this, um, this list on this side. The Sushi Explorer on this side. You can move it around. If I select here, as you guys can see, uh, I can move up here or to the left or right here. I prefer right here. That's my personal preference. Now we're going to go ahead and select here where it says Source Files. Right click. And we're going to do Add, Add New Item. As you guys probably have noticed, is that this is pretty much a you have your basic C++ and slash C language programming setup here. Uh, let me cancel this thing out. There's no files here, you guys can see. So we're going to add our, our C language file. We're going to hit that. So I hit add. I'm sorry. Right click, add new item. Now I'm going to change this to instead of. Um, Filenet.c++, which stands for, or CPP, which stands for C++, I'm going to do main.c, which stands for C language. Now, you might see it like this also, show all uh, templates. So like this, uh, be sure if you see it like this, you select um, this option here, file. And here, be sure this part right here has main dot c okay and then click add and everything will see as as you know say say and um, save it as default okay all right now you have your your c um language and uh, we we'll call this editor you know editor you can write you can write your c language before we continue, please like my video, comment below, share it, and subscribe. Don't forget to read the description below for more information about the video, time steps, and how to support me. Now, let's go ahead and run our first program here. There we go. The library that will include the, the C language commands. And a little description, a little um, message that's going to print out. Welcome. And for those who don't know this, this is just to have a space, an extra space after the word welcome. Or oh, anything that's before the forward slash, I guess you call it backslash. Yeah, backslash N. Right. Please don't forget the semicolons. I forget that a lot myself. And then we're going to click here, which says local window debugger. And I have mine under 64 since I have a 64 computer or 64 bit. That should be your standard out these days, I believe so. Unless otherwise, the professor might want you to do an 86 for whatever reason. But 64 is what most college professors will recommend. For this purpose, 64 we must use. Go ahead and click um, here and we'll wait. There you go. So up here's the what I wanted to display. Welcome. And you see the space right there that has created. And then we just click any uh, key to con to close this window. Uh, let me select the first and click it close. All, the, all you can just hit um, the X, click X on the top right corner. Okay, well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, please don't forget to check, the, to check the description below for more information where you can follow me and how to support me. Okay, and feel free to comment below if you guys want me to show you guys uh, more stuff about the C language or any other stuff that is in my channel itself. I'm open to ideas. All right, have a good day. Bye.